welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at San Francisco International Gate 54B at the Alaska Elevated Experience event. It's pretty exciting. They're really using the opportunity on the Virgin integration to kind of rebrand everything, redo the, the planes, add a lot of new technology, and we're really happy to have our next guest. She's Annabelle Chang, she's the Vice President of the Bay Area for Alaska. Annabelle, great to see you. Thank you for having me. So, congratulations on the event. I'm sure there's a lot of work that went into, uh, uh, into this thing. Just to say the least, yes. So, in your uh, remarks during the presser, you spent a lot of time talking about the community involvement. I think yes. you said that you guys have invested over a million of dollars in you know, kind of local community yes. uh, types of, of activities. So, Highlight a couple of those organizations and why is it important for Alaska to play in the community that has absolutely nothing to do with me getting on an airplane and flying to SeaTac? Uh, well, it actually has everything to do with that. Uh, so for example, last year we partnered up with the San Jose Mayor's Office and the San Jose Public Library Foundation to offer the first ever free coding camp for girls. It was a week-long coding camp. Parents didn't have to worry about providing breakfast or lunch. We had it all taken care of. Why does it matter to Alaska Airlines? We also need engineers to help create the apps, to help run the planes, and it is super important that we have a diverse workforce that represents our community, where we fly and all of the folks that, um, that are on board as well. Right, so that's pretty interesting, because I don't think most people would, would think of you doing that, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a little bit outside of the of a seat mile kind of calculation and really investing in the community. Yes. A lot of conversation too about the investment in this terminal. You guys are at all three Bay Area airports, thank you very much. I like to be able to hop on a plane if I'm <laughs> delayed. Yeah. But you guys are making a big investment here at SFO. Yes, so actually I will add a couple of things. We actually are at six Northern California airports. So in addition to our big Bay Area airports, we have flights out of Santa Rosa, right into wine country, Monterey, and Flights Sacramento. out of Santa Rosa? Yes, you can bring that wine right okay. on board. Not a, not a problem, which is really exciting. Uh, but last week we just announced that we're going to be opening up a San Francisco lounge, 8,500 square feet um, in 2020 on the third floor. You'll have stunning views of the runway. It'll be like nothing else. It'll be the highest domestic lounge at SFO. Right, so I wonder if you could just talk about, a little bit about, you know, kind of, thinking about the entire customer experience. I had a really interesting interview at GE Aviation yes. years ago, where even GE was thinking about kind of from the time you leave your door at your house to the time you arrive at your destination and all kind of that whole experience in between. When you guys talk about lounges and terminals and gates, you really are trying to take a much more holistic view than simply the travel of actual miles in the air. 100%, it is all about the guest experience. We are trying to be your favorite airline and we have to earn that loyalty. So from the moment that you are thinking about booking the flight, we already want that to be as easy of a process as possible from the moment that you deplane and get your bags. And hopefully we're always looking for ways to be innovative. So, you know, many years ago, Alaska Airlines was the first ever to have the kiosks and mobile check-in, and we continue to look for ways to be top in the field. And actually in flight, I'm proud to share that we have the most free movies in the sky of any airline, although I tend to watch a few of the same movies over and over again. <laughs> uh, but literally, you can scroll, scroll, scroll. It goes from A to Z. Most people kind of get stuck in like the Gs. They don't make it, yeah, they don't make it past the Gs. I promise there's some goodies <laughs> in the back of the alphabet. Right. And just to kind of close, you know, you talk about Wi-Fi and you've talked about movies about the kind of the role of technology and how Alaska continues to be innovative, leveraging technology with the app, with the lounge, with the, the new seat configurations. Yeah. How important is technology to you guys to be able to execute your vision? Yeah. So we want to be your top West Coast airline and the West Coast is obviously the tech hub of the entire world. And so we know that our travelers care very much about technology. So we're looking ways to be creative, we make sure that everyone has power. As I always say, ABC, always be charging. Right, uh, right. So we want to make sure that your tablets, your phone, your laptop is always available to charge. And we're looking for ways to be creative. So for example, we know that everyone has personal mobile phones or laptops now, and um, we're looking for ways to make sure that we can take advantage of that technology and offer it to you. Right. So I know, number one, fast Wi-Fi is going to be key to our success. Well, Annabelle, thanks for taking a few minutes. We look forward to getting on the plane here yeah. in a few minutes. And uh, we're going to have some ice cream, aren't we? Are we going to have ice cream? Yeah, <laughs> salt and straw. You don't have to wait in line, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, All right. Thank you. She's Annabelle. I'm Jeff. You're watching thank the Cube. You. We're at SFO Gate 54B. Soon we'll be at 35,000 feet. Thanks for watching. Catch awesome. you next time.